Hey everybody, I'm back with another 5 minute review. This time we've got the Shure MV7. Like the other mics I've reviewed so far, the MV7 is an XLR USB microphone. Included in the box is the microphone itself and the USB cable. This mic does require the purchase of a mic stand or a boom arm because it doesn't include a free desk stand like some of the other mics do. In my opinion, this is the best sounding USB mic I've tried so far. Granted, I haven't tried all of them, but out of the ones I have used personally and the ones I've heard recordings of, this one is by far my favorite. It just sounds the most professional and it sounds like a more expensive mic. Unlike most mics, this one comes with some software. It comes with the Sure Plus Motive. Let's take a look at the different options here. So on the manual settings, we have presets. We've got mic mute. We've got mic gain where we can add gain to it with a max of 36 dB. We have a monitor mix to balance the signal between the microphone and playback of the computer or whatever other audio is coming out of your headphones. We have a choice of four different EQ curves. We've got a limiter we can turn on and off. We have a compressor with, with light, medium, and heavy settings. We've got LED behavior, which allows us to see live meters and it has a night mode. I'm not going to go into trying out all of these different settings. If you want a more in-depth review of this, I'm sure Podcastage has a quality review of the mic. Five minute reviews just doesn't give me a whole lot of time to cover everything. Along with the manual settings, we have auto level options to help you level out, to help you level the microphone just in case you're newer to this, but in general I recommend using the manual settings. It just gives us a little more control over things. This mic typically sells for around $249. That does put it about $50 more expensive than the Samson Q9U when it's at full price. When the Q9U is $199, I feel the MV7 is just a better mic in that price range. Like I said, it's the best sounding USB mic I've heard. It's easy to use, and the software does a really good job of giving you kind of a bit of a professional sound in your headphones by having the compression, the limiter. I don't recommend using the EQ, but that's just a personal preference because I feel it's a lot easier to handle that in post-production. But if you have a preset that suits your voice really well, go ahead and use it. So to recap, the Shure MV7 tends to sell for $249. It does not include a mic stand. It's the closest competitor to more traditional broadcast mics like the Shure SM7B and the ElectroVoice RE20, but it does not need an interface unless you're going to use multiples, because it's a USB mic. It's got the built-in preamp, which means you plug it in and you're ready to go. And that's one of the other reasons I recommend it to clients. When they're doing remote interviews, they don't need an interface and to just add complexity to their setup. I always recommend USB unless you're doing in-person recording. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you next time.